But what I thought was awesome about this first 22 minutes is what it achieves undoubtedly is emotional investment mm -hmm. and for you to root for this guy. It's not so much about the plot of the game. This is setting up the character journey yeah. of this main, of the protagonist. While they, they do do that with the Spider-Man PS4, I think this one actually achieved it better. <laughs> Game comes out tomorrow, so we're gonna watch the first 22 minutes of Spider-Man Miles Morales. I know this footage was released a while ago, but I saved it for last, I suppose. And I wanna thank everyone who commented on the last Miles Morales reaction video we did. Because of your comments, I have decided to go forward and I pre-ordered Spider-Man Miles Morales for the PS4, because I wasn't aware that it can come with a free upgrade once I get the PS5. So thank you guys. I'm getting the game this week. Let's watch this damn thing. So courteous. So courteous, Miles. Mm -hmm. This is the He's a hero even when he's not Spider-Man. Save the couch. Gracias, chico. De nada. Hmm? That is so cool. Hmm? I got you. Hey, thanks. No hmm? problem. Hey, uh, you think you're gonna add that new Spider-Man too? <laughs> Kid? Yeah, maybe. Original's just my guy, you know? Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, is Tails <laughs> Bodega around here? Yeah, bright yellow sign down the block. Can't miss it. Thanks. Beautiful work, by the way. Maybe leave a little room for the new guy. Just in case. And I'm not him. <laughs> just same. I'm just, I'm just a really big booster. Like a lot. Daily Bugle. Spider-Man, you gotta learn how to deal with this, man. Definitely you avoiding you, that. <laughs> Man, how does Pete do this secret identity thing? Completely stresses me out. Doesn't stress him out at all, Miles. It's easy so for him. Walk in the park all the time. <laughs> okay, be cool. Be cool. Helping Spider-Man protect a giant prison convoy? You can handle this. You're not just helping Spider-Man. You're cool. being Spider-Man. <gasps> breathe in, breathe out. 
<laughs> I love how he's like struggling to breathe. <laughs> it's so great. Pete! You here? Just down in some rocket fuel. Kiss me. <laughs> Drinking very, very carefully. There it is. Okay, go time. Helix 2 on route, heavy That's supposed to be the rhino thing, right? Copy, Helix 2, we've got you on scope. This so, like, is fragments of a big operation. It's gotta be. Hundreds of felons escaped from the raft last year. Now it's time to move them back in. Police aren't taking any chances, especially not with our guest of honor. Getting a lot of interference here. One of those guys who helped Doc Doc is in there? I think so. Could be Vulture, could be Scorpion, could be someone bigger. <laughs> okay, we got a problem. Hold back, Miles. Let me take. I got this, Pete. Don't worry. Oh, no! Don't try to prove yourself too soon, buddy. It's secure. Oh, oh no, it's not. Oh, Spider Kid. Spider Kid. Rudders are responsive. Freeze for impact. Oh. They're down. fine. No casualties. <laughs> Payload compromised. Response team dispatched. Stay tight, Helix 2. Pete, I'm sorry, man. I, I didn't mean to. It's okay. We got this. Just need to contain it before. Shit will not be contained. <laughs> before that happens. Hello, tiny spider. They'd take him out of the suit to transport. Oh no! What the hell? Miles, I've got Rhino, but you have to contain the escapees. Learn your controls. <laughs> Learn the controls, Miles. <laughs> tutorial. Learn the combat moves, Miles. He's never gonna trust me on a mission like this again. Oh. Don't doubt yourself. Oh, you're insulting him in the background. No. <laughs> All right then. Oh yeah. Christmas is ruined. Uh, nearly. The Grinch is behind us. Come on, Miles. Oh. Can't let Pete down. I need to get this under control. Got this. Background talking to him right now. <laughs> it's a great wow. touch. Yes. Wow. Oh. Oh. I got the keys. Let's go. Grand Theft Auto. Miles, I'm gonna need a hand up here. You freeze. Oh no, the bad guys got away. Spirit's a little overzealous this year, Alexei. Damn it. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh, this was not handled well. <laughs> so this is a training mission. Oh. <laughs> oh that's great. I love the jumping through the building so they demolish. I love that. It's like a movie. Oh, 
so cool. Worst thing out of this is the bad headlines. I'm a kind of lucky. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> oh, crap, crap, the winter bad. This is starting to feel real bad, man. Don't think like that. We're going to stop him as long as we work together. Right, Pete. Speaking of, mind giving me a hand up here? Hurry, yeah. ones. Yeah, I got you. Okay, Pete. Yeah, I got this. Take it away, Cowboy. Let the cutscene take it away. Oh, 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 wait, that's the ball. Ow. <laughs> Hang on tight, tiny spider. Oh, man, hey. Need a little help. Oh, I've been to the mall in so long. Oh, oh, oh. Got you. And you're safe. You're too. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> the collapsing of the like depth of field too. Thank you! You're welcome! Don't scare baby! I was locked behind 30 feet of steel. I intend to enjoy this. No, spot. the kid's castle. He's a menace. Ah. Uh, too soft. He's a low energy menace. Too easy. Maybe he's a weak minded. Oh! Hey, Jonah, let me die. Ah. Very fast. Menace! A Very fast. Menace. Menace. Treacherous, unhinged menace. Jared. <laughs> Hey, mom. Yeah, coconut milk. Still trying to find it. It's been kind of uh, an adventure. Are you running? Yeah. Uh, sorry. I'm trying to catch the train. Grab the milk and hurry home. Some important milk. Yo también te quiero. Now or never, Miles. We gotta stop him. On my way. Oh my goodness. Bob Miles, you've got this. Ooh. We gotta bring him down hey. fast. Yeah, yeah, what do we do? Let us raise temperature. No bueno. No bueno, Miles. Are you okay? Oh my god! <laughs> oh no, no, no! Oh no! I've got him! Headed your way! Oh. Be ready! Okay. <laughs> yeah. Might uh need a minute. <laughs> Oh man, there's so much chaos. 
so much for one young man. I just need a quick job. He can't lose. He never loses. Oh, Miles, your heart. <laughs> I know. What's happening now? Use the finisher. Spider Man, you good? Ooh. Ow. Pete. 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 Wake up. Wake up, wake up, man. Wake up, man. Get him, Miles. This Spider-Man is broke. I would like to exchange for new one. Huh? Oh. This one will do. Miles, get out of here. Bro. Jack? The hell? <laughs> Discover that for the first time? I think, yeah, I think he just. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Punch. Oh man, Miles is getting all this revenge after all the crap Rhino put him through in the first one. I love it. I love it. <laughs> you survive while your mentor perishes. How unexpected. There's your motivation. Man, you really feel that venom punch. You really feel it. You're not going to leave a hundred people around, Alexi. I'm not going to let you hurt anyone else. I am excited to see you try, small one. Yes. <laughs> that, that camera mode when you're on his back. You are worthy opponent, small one. You will not stop me. You destroyed half the city. Finish him. Peter, can you get like electricity punches? <laughs> What's going on with me, man? I wonder if he even knows about his camouflage yet. Man, they're just, they just like thrust you into this, huh? Yeah. Day in the life. Guys? Wow, just. <laughs> wow. Simon Krieger. Head of R&D at Roxxon Energy. Trustworthy. Pleasure to meet you. Trustworthy. You too. Uh, sorry. I think our ball landed in your yard. No. Actually did us a favor. We uh, just bought the place. Uh, we're planning to tear it down for a build. But uh, looks like you beat us to it. I wanted to thank you. Both of you. Taking down Rhino? 
Solo? <laughs> you are going places, bud. Thanks. But he, he's still dangerous. Ah, we'll hold him for the police. You know, I always think these super troopers are overkill until something like this happens. Oh, duty calls. Hey, uh, really great to meet you both. <laughs> <laughs> Future's looking bright. Hello. <laughs> hey. He's right. Yeah. Let's clear out. Let the police do their job. Just... Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Gotham City. Bioelectricity. Wow. Gotta be honest. A little jealous. Hey, hmm? look. I got nothing on the OG. Think we should run young. tests tomorrow? A little voltage analysis? <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Yeah, sorry. I've been meaning to tell you. I'm not gonna be around for the next few weeks. Is some kind of pee joke I don't get? No. Uh, MJ's headed overseas for the Bugle and requested me as her photographer. Kind of a working vacation for us. I don't oh, feel man. like that voice matches. <laughs> nah, not exactly. Look, I don't know if I'm ready to fly solo. I screwed up today big time with the helicopter. But then you delivered big time. You saved my bacon, Miles. I got lucky. Hey, I did this gig for eight years without backup. And you better believe I screwed up lots of times. That is how you learn. What's this? A Christmas suit? present. But first, you gotta take the oath. Oh. Yeah. Um, okay. I promise to do everything in my power to protect this city. I promise. That's it? That oath a real thing. Totally. Definitely didn't just make it up. I've had many Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, you would not be the See last. Weeks, Spider -Man. <laughs> New York's only Spider-Man. See you in 20 to 40 hours of gameplay, Spider-Man. I'm New York's only Spider-Man. Pull a Homelander. You're on the rooftop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to jerk off over the city. <laughs> Who's New York Spider-Man? Who's New York Spider-Man? Hoo hoo hoo, cool. <sighs> Dude. <laughs> watch, I can just watch it. <laughs> this is an example of a watch. game that you could just watch just somebody watch play. Watch it, <laughs> screw it. Looks like <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> awesome, that was really awesome, man. Oh, I can't wait to play. So, mm -hmm. uh, for this first 22 minutes, it feels complimentary to the first 22 minutes of Spider-Man PS4, where in that you have Peter Parker waking up, day in the life of Peter, gets the call, and he has to go take down Wilson Fist while going through this building, learning the maneuvers and such, and then they take down the big baddie there. And here, while there's some complimentary things that happen, that serves more as a prologue, I think, which leads into the actual story of the game. Yeah, this essentially is like a prologue of sorts, but it actually feels like a, an act one, mm -hmm. if anything. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know what I mean? Like totally. the Spider-Man PS4 felt like prologue, and then you get into act one, and then this feels like just pure act one. I loved it. The setup of Miles Morales being someone who is trying to make a name for himself. He's just looked at as like Spider-Man Jr. or the kid to Spider-Man in, in some way. He doesn't, doesn't get anywhere near the amount of respect and you feel that right away. We talk about the mural on the wall and are you gonna put Spider the kid on there? And they're like hesitant to do it. And so you feel this anxiousness to prove himself mm -hmm. and like the inner dialogue or, or actually the external dialogue that yeah. he's having throughout. Peter wouldn't do this, Peter wouldn't do this. He's constantly looking up and looking forward and not really recognizing what he what he's capable of doing. You feel this sort of insecurity in his voice that he has this opportunity to be something amazing. Ah. <laughs> Yet, he, you could tell that there's this lack of confidence that he has, which only makes sense. Mm -hmm. With that, with trying to achieve the confidence, he's making some, you know, careless choices and getting ahead of himself here and there. I really loved how when, you know, Rhino breaks out, the prisoners break out, and you got people insulting him, Miles, while he's yes. trying to fight and do damage control. Yeah. Oh, so, so wonderful, so wonderful. Yeah, well, I, I thought they really, this is a weird note to hone in on, but really the use of the voice cast across the board helped this to become that much more immersive for me because, yeah, I love that you've got Miles worrying out loud about his own repercussions, you know, 
the things that he's messed up in this operation and those little moments where it's clear he wants to prove himself so he takes the lead on like trying to secure the containment pod or whatever and that goes awry and then later on you've got Peter in the background and you can hear him just sort of just saying Peter stuff to yeah. Rhino basically and yeah like it, it just made everything feel like that much more of an engaged storyline and two I mean they, they introduced Miles in the first game right Cor am, am I correct? No, they don't. They don't? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they do. Excellent. Well, I mean, <laughs> starting it off here, knowing that and having it now verified for me, uh, it felt like a really natural place to start this out. And I love, like, it seems like Spider-Verse has really blown the doors off of everything in terms of, like, I love that we have Peter being the mentor to Miles and then, you know, leaving for a couple weeks and and putting New York in mm. his hands. Really like the vibe back and forth between them. And that was something that like isn't mind blowing now, but for a game like this really pulled me in and really uh, kind of enhanced that character tension of just like, yeah, he's, he's not supposed to be here doing this convoy thing. He's supposed to get the milk yeah. back home to his mom, but yeah. also he's got to go help out Peter and stuff like that. And, uh... Well, I don't. I think he doesn't realize how similar of an experience and a journey he's having. And that's kind of what the ending note is of yeah. their relationship. Like when he's trying to balance his personal life in the very beginning beginning of this and he's saying I don't know it stresses me out how do you balance both I don't know how Peter does it we know as the audience that no that's not easy for Peter no. that's that's one of the <laughs> things the about Peter Parker <laughs> Peter. yeah how does he balance both and then even having that ending touch with their dialogue exchange of like trust me Miles I've made many mistakes <laughs> I have caused I, destruction I, I keep making mistakes so don't worry so like Miles keeps selling himself short in that way and I love in terms of a narrative of the first 22 minutes how there is like a little short film happening here in and of itself, even though it is just an act one setup. Rhino going off and then while you hear like the funny stuff happening with Peter trying to fight Alexi in, uh, in the background of all this, Miles is stuck with just the prisoners, you know, people who are not as, they're dangerous, but nowhere near at the threat level that Rhino is. So Peter's handling Rhino and Miles is handling the prisoners, but then who's the one that ends up taking down Rhino? It's Miles, yeah. and Peter isn't even around to witness it. He's he's not, he's unconscious at the time. Yeah. As Miles so, like unlocks <laughs> his new potential and everything. Yeah, he know? unlocks his venom punch or the the venom powers within him. Just in a visual narrative structure point, he is just as worthy or capable of holding up the Spider-Man mantle, even though he has a hard time believing it. The visual language of him taking out Rhino serves that, and. What I thought was great too, coming off of the fact that you do play as Miles periodically in really short moments in the first Spider-Man game. Obviously he doesn't have Spider-Man powers in it, but one of the most intense levels I thought was when you're actually playing as Miles, no powers, and you just have to sneak around Rhino. And it's very scary to have that be his big level in, in the first Spider-Man game where it's a sneaking around trying to get to a certain destination around this Rhino character who's stalking him and then to have this end on he goes toe to toe with him with the spider-man powers and defeats him i think there's something very cathartic and showing yeah an evolution within the character there too yeah man now all you got to do is beat rhino five more times and they'll put your face above yeah the mirror. <laughs> well they're dealing with the repercussions of what happened uh you know after the end of spider-man ps4 with doc ock and all the other villains factored into there. But you know, even a little bit more complimentary things, some some stuff that seems to mirror it in some way. And I think a lot of us really picked up of it from the like even from the first trailer, some of these guards and stuff kind of remind you of like the, the Sable team from the first one. I think there's just so much more craziness to come. But what I thought was awesome about this first 22 minutes is what it achieves undoubtedly is emotional investment mm -hmm. and for you to root for this guy. It's not so much about the plot of the game. This is setting up the character journey of yeah. this main, of the protagonist. While they, they do do that with the Spider-Man PS4, I think this one actually achieved it better just because of, you know, the, the, the sequel and then it's Miles, you got, you have to, and everyone knows Peter Parker. There's a whole wide variety of reasons of why it's more important to do that this time around when your follow-up game is not playing as Peter Parker, yeah. you're playing yeah. as Miles. And lastly, I'll say, um, that face is not warm enough to be <laughs> <laughs> that, that Peter Parker model is not warm enough. Like, it, do, it doesn't match for me. It looked weird. <laughs> and, well, and whereas Miles looked great still, but yeah. Peter looked weird. <laughs> well, and in a continuity where I feel like a lot of people have already gotten used to the older model, to then have a sequel in which you have this new model that looks younger than the older model yeah. is a little confusing, yes. <laughs> but he's not being killed off. 
I mean, a lot I was of, afraid he could have. A lot of us were thinking maybe they will go that path, but yeah. no, he's just taking a vacation. <laughs> That's right, man. He's just peacing out for a couple of weeks. Just take a vacation, learn on your own for a while, protect the city. Peace. <laughs> and when, uh, some craziness will ensue during that time. Mm -hmm. He's leaving town during an election. Not the time for Peter to be leaving, uh, I'll say. No. <laughs> Especially not now. <laughs> Going overseas, no less. And also, I think the music is phenomenal here. Mm -hmm. A really great soundtrack. And I think the sound design, you feel it. You feel that sound design improvement, especially with the Venom punches. Mm -hmm. you, you have to really feel like there's something different about it. And more than just the look and the powers and how you see how it, the, the effect it takes on Rhino, you can just hear it. <laughs> like, <laughs> it, so, it sounds so good crunching, you know? Yeah, yeah. And they have a really good, like, surround mix, too. Just, like, everything sounds really crisp, and then, like, the natural sounds mix really well with the, you know, more spacing yeah. rhino suit sounds and stuff, you know? All right, guys. Well, first 22 minutes of Spider-Man. Miles Morales achieved. Hopefully I can get around to beating the story sooner than later. Guys, what do you think? Did you already pre-order the game? Leave your thoughts down below. Subscribe to The Real Rejects. Click that notification bell. Hit that like button. Last but not least, pick <laughs> All right, John, you had one in mind for Andrew Hayes. Oh, that's right, Andrew Hayes. If anybody in the Real Rejects universe is, is primed to set out on a life of crime, mech suited up, ready for destruction, it is you, my friend. The next apocalypse, it's not gonna be a snow apocalypse, it's not gonna be a summer apocalypse, it's gonna be an Andrew Hayes apocalypse, because you know what? You're kind of a short guy. And uh, I was like, Rhino's kind of a short guy too. You'd be the perfect person to shout out. I haven't seen your face. I missed your delivery. It's the first time I've attempted it in a while. And uh, I hope we can talk again soon. Shout out. A plus gameplay complete. Rhino's a short guy. Isn't Alexi kind of short? Doesn't they make fun of him for that in like other iterations of the Spider-Man property? Destruction. You could cause a lot of destruction. Well, he's in a mech suit. The the thing I, I was like the first. Well, maybe I'm just going off Paul Giamatti because he's tiny inside I fake think you suit. Are.